I can remember my first day at DeSmet Jesuit. I arrived at school, quickly jumped out of the car, waved goodbye to avoid an embarrassing embrace. I immediately felt welcomed. As I approached the entrance, an overwhelming anxiousness washed over me. I was unsure of how I would fit in at DeSmet Jesuit. I was unsure of how I would fit in as a Spartan. I put my head down, avoided eye contact, and quickly navigated through the crowd. As I proceeded to the hallway, I noticed many familiar faces from the Odyssey retreat and summer camps. The feeling of anxiety began to subside. It felt like home, it really did. My intense desire to find my place began to rise up. What will I be? What will I be involved in? And who will I become? Little did I know the experience that awaited. Odyssey, it was really fun actually. Come in and you get, you get to know who's in your homeroom. All of us came in as complete strangers for the most part. And we get to play these games together, and you know, by the end of the trip, you know, you might have a potential best friend for the, you know the rest of your life. That's why they have these Odyssey camps. That's why these had these introduction camps. And then you get into the school year, you already have this friend, this, these friendships that have already been made. When I went to the Smet for a Shadow Day, it gave me a sense of brotherhood that other schools I looked at didn't have. The brotherhood at DeSmet is inevitable. I now fully understand what that term brotherhood means and how much it can actually impact your life. When I toured here, there was just something about DeSmet that made me feel completely at home, completely comfortable, and that was definitely something that I wanted for my high school career. All the teachers here are friendly and loving, and I look forward to their classes every day. I've never had that much fun in a class, and I say that because he knew how to joke around with us. He knew how to, how to interact with us as freshmen. You know, they're there to obviously be your teacher, but you know, there's also a relationship built up to where you know, like, you can talk to them about anything. It's really in that relationship and being shoulder to shoulder with the student that we connect, and it's in that connection where we really have the opportunity to inspire and to teach whether it's about the literature that we're talking about in class or controversial issues of justice in my theology classes. They just have great questions and I love engaging the questions. And I'm still learning stuff about myself and about the world every day and it's just, this man has really challenged me to be open to growth but at the same time showed me that growth and change is good. The Smet has a long tradition of athletics, being successful in numerous sports. It's a good reputation to be a football player just meant when you come out of the tunnel on a home game and you can see the crowd at the end of the tunnel, you can see Sparty dancing at the end of the tunnel, you can see everybody excited. It's one of the best feelings ever. Our coaches are probably the greatest people in the world. They pushed us each and every day throughout practice. You know, they got on us for things that we may have did wrong, but at the same time, they encouraged us at the end saying like, hey, it's okay, you know, that life, things are gonna get hard, but you're gonna have to bounce back, you're gonna have to, you know, come back stronger because life will knock you down, but it's about how you get up each time you get knocked down. But those coaches definitely reinforced a lot of things that I learned back at home, and, and that also made it a lot easier for my parents to send me off to school every day knowing that I was going to be, you know, in good hands with people who shared a common view of life. The incredible thing about DeSmet also is that, it, that service is part of the curriculum. I have friends who work at crisis nurseries. I have friends that work at Head Starts. I have friends that work in nursing homes and hospitals. And those experiences, while they may seem daunting when you go into them, once you uh, get into it, you have a blast. It's they're understanding the importance of serving others. And that's the greater goal of the Catholic Church and the Jesuit order itself. You start preparing for college the minute that you walk in this door because in the end that's the ultimate goal. Most, if not all, of our young men will one day look back and go, wow, that, that experience was a pinnacle moment for me, a meaningful moment for me. The school isn't just throwing the kids to the wolves and say, figure it out for yourself. They're helping the families get the best opportunities for the kids. I always say that I'm rich. And it's not because of a financial standpoint, but it's because I made the best investment you can make. 